Hello, my hoopy fruits. I hope you know exactly where your towel is, because I have another awesome video for you. So, somebody was asking me if I thought that BoxyCharm was actually worth the money, and the easy answer was yes. So, I decided to make this video and explain my logic, because uh, I think that BoxyCharm is really enough thing. It's not perfect. Um... I kind of wish that things were actually geared to uh, Charmer's particular taste, but I mean, I actually think it is a very good box and definitely worth the money. Um, I started my subscription in April. I wanted to say October. I'm not sure why. Um, it's I am just waiting for Halloween, you guys. I I think that that's it. Anyway, so I got my first. A box and ooh. yeah let me take those off sorry it's still a little sweaty it's just really weird because it's super cool outside so I don't know where that sweat came from but anyway as I was saying I got my first box in April I've been receiving them for four months yeah April May June July yep that's four so uh <clears throat> Okay, now I can't see anything. That's just upsetting. I'll just deal with the sweaty face, and so will you. So sorry. But, uh, so I picked up ten, if I counted properly. I may not have. I think I lost something. Oh, well. I'll figure it out later. Oh, wait, no, I did not. Now everything's falling down. Great! My organization skills are beyond reports. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But anyway, so I grabbed 10 items that I actually use a lot since I've gotten this. And um, I'd like to remind you guys that I have spent $84 on BoxyCharm as of this video. So, let's get into it. Ah, if things can keep falling, can keep not falling, can not keep falling. Yes, something, I, you know what I mean. Anyway, so first we have this lovely, luscious boom boom cream. Um, I love this stuff. If you look in it, I have used it a lot. Like you guys know, because like I talk about it constantly. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Uh, but there, there's still a lot. There's a pair that's upsetting. Ew. Anyway, oh, it smells so good. I'm so glad that my allergies died down, so I can actually smell things. But anyway, so yeah, uh, retails ten dollars. This blush, which I got in this month's boxy charm, it's orange. I don't know if you can tell that I've been using it quite a bit, but it is also very pigmented. So, if you're using the note blush, tread lightly because it will go all over your face and you will look like a clown if you're not careful really pigmented stuff. I love this blush. This retails for $11.99. So that's $21.99. That's one box paid for. This Luxie highlighter brush, it is the 522, I think. Is it 522? I think it's 522. Oh, wow. I... Yep, 522. Tapered highlighter brush. $24. One box paid for. Right? This. Dr. Brandt Vacuum Cleaner. $42. Two boxes paid for. So this. And this. And this. And this. Are four boxes. Right? All right, so let's go on. This, Dr. Brandt, Needles No More. Uh, no More Baggage, which I've been using and there's still 
a pretty good amount of that because you don't need to use that much. It's awesome. I love it. $42. Two more boxes. So that's six boxes. Uh, the Pure Sculptor Palette, which I have actually managed to use this one as a contour shade. It's like the Note Blush, a very pigmented. You have to use it very lightly, but it doesn't go on as dark as this would have you believe. And I've used this one on my eyebrows. And these two are uh, beautiful highlight shades, so that that works. So this is actually pretty useful. This is 30 bucks, one box. So that's seven boxes? Cool. This crown palette, which I got in this last one's box. And I accidentally shoved my pinky into this one like a day ago. So uh, it's got this really interesting divot there. It reminds me of the surface of a planet. But anyway, uh, this is, I've been using this a lot. It's beautiful colors and this is $29.99 so that's another box so that's eight boxes I think okay I, I, I may have lost track of the uh, boxes anyway this is a uh, the palette that I got from June it's Alomar Cosmetics, uh, Reina del Caribe. I'm, I'm still not sure exactly how to pronounce Caribe. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. But anyway, yes, I've been using this a lot. $28, another box. So I think that's up to nine boxes now. Um, yeah. Oh, something got on La Costa. The coast has like a dent in it. Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, this palette is just amazing. Like, and we have last but certainly not least this I got in my first boxy charm in April, and it is the Elements of Surprise palette by ColourPop. And as you can tell, it's gotten a lot of use. I love this palette this is uh like i'm obsessed with color pop now like i i randomly ran into their stuff and i ordered some and i liked it and then i got this palette and i was like yep i'm in the color pop go it's a thing that happened so uh this is 16 dollars, and it came in with like a bunch of other like Really, actually, I do believe that this came in with this. I think that this was in the same box. It may be misremembering. But anyway, so that's like 10 boxes. So, out of curiosity, I added all of this, these 10 items together. And it was added up to $259.98. Alright, so for $84, I got $260 worth of stuff, retail price. Now, if you cut that in half, that's $130. So, $84 for a hundred and thirty dollars and keep in mind that there's there's other stuff that i use but these are just my go-to items so basically this is uh if you uh average it out that's twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents per item and the box is twenty one dollars so yeah i actually firmly stand behind boxycharm i i think that they're they're a great company and i've really enjoyed every box that they got um i i was surprised actually because the last box a lot of people were really disappointed in and personally i loved it but then again it's like they're like oh orange was you have my heart thank you so uh anyway uh Believe it or not, this video is not sponsored by BoxyCharm. I'm just making it because 
I want to, uh, you know, I, I want to get my logic out there, and I'm not always that great when writing. Like, I've been known to, like, have thoughts and be typing and typing and somehow manage to skip over a complete sentence or two. <laughs> so, yeah, that's actually one of the reasons why I started to make videos, because I tend to communicate better speaking than talking. I mean, than talking. Okay, maybe I may have to rethink the communicating better by speaking part. <laughs> I do it better than typing also because my hands look like this and typing hurts my hands occasion. So, uh, yeah, that's my video and those are my thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'd really like to know your thoughts and opinions, but, uh, anyway... I hope you have a good day and uh, keep your eyes on. I have no idea what I was going to say there. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> have a good day. Bye.